Welcome to Hidden Valley Homestead, where my wife Olivia and I escaped the city to homestead our off-grid property in Idaho. This is our journey. You gonna pop a wheelie and flip over? I'm afraid I might. Why are you going so slow? You know that that has a thousand pound payload, right? It's a thousand pound payload. That's good. Can you can you get it a little closer though? Thank you. Don't hit my door. Wow. Hey, it's yours. Hey. It's your Ranger. You ripped my window. That was not intentional. You are being intentional right now. I knew what I was doing. Yeah, whatever. You gonna center that? Yep, let me center on that rock. Okay, we got all four corners in and stabilized. Now we're going to do a string, all four corners all the way around, and then we'll do the rest of these poles. We'll plumb them up. We'll put cement in there and plumb them up once we get the cement in. I mean, uh, you might be able to get these two. Yeah. Okay, so check this side to side. I mean, that looks good. Unless, yeah. Unless you want to go and then it's just it. barely touching the string, right? Does it go that way? I think I There's just barely touching the string. That looks good. It looks good. That looks pretty darn good. Okay. Yeah, that looks good, honey. Good job. You see the cement down there is going to hold it in place. Mm -hmm. And it'll be carrying up. This one, we did this, what, 45 minutes ago? Look at it. It's already setting up. It's so hot right now. Nice. So, yeah, it won't take long. Okay, so that's the procedure. Okay. So the next day, after all the cement dried, we put up that string line and made sure all those poles were all perfectly in a line. We had some friends that have done a lot of fence stretching. I've never done any fence stretching before, and it made it made the work so much faster and easier when you had a couple of help, extra helping hands and kind of guide you through it. So I now consider myself a professional fence stretcher. But yeah, we got that stuff all nice and tight, 
and uh, thankfully to our friends who came over and gave us a hand and uh, got all the fencing up. So all I need to do now is put a wire at the top for the deer. So good to go. All right, guys, we got the fence stretched. It's so much nicer when you have some help. And we stretch this all the way around. And guys, check out this fencing. So here's my, here's my come along. I'll show you that first. Using the strap to pull against one pole, using the come along to pull it tight. And we weaved a board in between all of the holes. And then we pulled it tight. And then we put those U-shaped. And I, I got the one and a half inch, actually one and three quarter inch nails. I'll show you these. There's some bark still on here. I wanted to make sure these things go in and stay in. But I got the big stuff. Now it's a little bit smaller at the bottom. It's the two by fours. Then it goes to a two by three. Uh, then it goes to a three by four and then a four by four. And then eventually up here, it goes to a six by six or a six by four. I don't know. Anyway, this is deer fencing guys. And it's nice and tight, super tight. And then you see I left these poles long. I'm gonna do a single wire along the top of these poles. And at some point I'm gonna cut the, uh, cut the tops of the long ones off and make them all look even. But look guys, it's all done. I got the fencing on. I just simply have to finish this one last section right here. I'm gonna wrap it around so there's no wire sticking out for Olivia when she's coming through. And, and uh, I have 30 feet of fencing left over. This was a 60 feet up here by 90 feet long. So 150 corner and then another 150 and then minus the 10 foot gate. So I actually should have 40 feet of that fencing left over. There'll be plenty to add and to make, make a gate right here. And then when I go to do a chicken coop, I can use the leftovers of this for uh, the big varmint control. But we're gonna use chicken wire for the chicken, chicken coop, so. All right guys, so thanks for watching. There's our fencing project. And uh, now we can take down all this ratty fencing that we put up last year that was just temporary. It was effective enough to keep the deer out of the blueberries and, and Olivia's garlic and some strawberries and whatnot. But now that we have all this heavy duty deer fencing on, we can take this stuff down now and plant a regular garden. There's gonna be a big orchard over here, six trees. We're gonna have a chicken coop in here, wallapini, and then we're gonna have a big garden. So guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys on the next video.